Away they race in the Coronation for Churi, a great start. And Barbo Best into stride deep on the track. Going forward is Piper's Factor in the centre, and they emerge at the top two by a length. In third placing early is Naptown with no more options slipping up on the inside, and Vitality on their router. A break of two and a half to Hatmaker Gizmo. Three wide early is Pontiac towards the back with King Rosser the inside, and Thor's cause the centre, and Zippy Gizmo's the trailer. Bubbo shows the way by a length to Piper's Factor and goes across to the inside. Bubbo in front, Piper's Factor second. Racing handy is Vitality, just one off the inside. A beautiful position no more options on the inside in fourth and a half to Naptown two lengths away Pontiac around Hatmaker Gizmo a length and a half to Thor's cause King Rosso on the inside and at the back on the rail is Zippy Gizmo two behind but racing clear Bobo Bobo shows the way in the Coronation Futurity and the first quarter was through in 24 and three and a half 48 and three leads by two and a half to Piper's Factor Vitality no more options the insides had the run of the race a length away Naptown then Hatmaker Gizmo Pontiac King Rosso Thor's cause and on the outside now Zippy Gizmo they bunch a little bit Bobo's lead a length and a half to two Piper's Factor and Bobo going along nicely in front Piper's Factor making inroads now a length away third no more options has come clear of Naptown who's pushed along on the inside Hatmaker Gizmo then Vitality Zippy Gizmo's letting loose running on then Pontiac and towards the back Thor's causing King Rosso Bobo hasn't shown any signs of surrender in the coronation futurity Bobo by a length and a half to Piper's Factor and down the stretch Bubbo reminded to keep going here and is out by two and a half lengths Piper's Factor in second the only danger and maybe no danger Bubbo has obliterated them and the Coronation Futurity a gate to wire win by Bubbo by three lengths to Piper's Factor no more options third a gap to Naptown and then Zippy Gizmo 152.06 You go over there, honey. Rosie, take it there, Rosie. Yeah, it's okay. Come over here. Come over here. Bubbo! Bubbo! Okay, guys. Yeah, let's get Okay, hold it right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Last one, last one. Bubbo, the winner of today's Coronation Fraternity, as won floors, put him right to the point, makes every call a winning one. This gentleman's won the plate before, and he might win another one, that being Lutucci, and uh, Conditioner Sinatard was ecstatic after this race, and deservedly so. As won, this horse just keeps getting better and better. How did he relax for you early on in the race? Yeah, Jeff, yeah, you know, I give all the credit to uh, everybody involved in uh, doing uh, all the work uh, in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, you know, he's uh, it's been doing a heck of a job training this horse, and I'm just grateful to be a part of this horse, the breeding, the, the ownership. I, I appreciate everybody, uh, and I, I congratulate everybody that has a uh, part in this horse. So just take us to the race from your perspective. Obviously, you broke well. Uh, was he on the bit at all, or did it relax nicely for you? Just take us through it from that perspective. Yeah, I was worried. Uh, you know, he, he has shown uh, a lot of speed uh, in the in the past. Uh, I was I was worried. Uh, yeah, I didn't want, I didn't want to go too quick, but uh, he was able to uh, relax and uh, he was very professional throughout the whole race. Well, let's get back to the jockeys' quarters and warm up a little bit. Congrats. Thank you. Let's now bring in Lou. Uh, Lou, this is a, a place that you've been many a time. Okay, we're gonna let Sid go as well because Sid's <laughs> got to saddle a horse in the next race. But I just want to ask you, what was that led you to buy this horse? A horse that was bred by the late Bob Harvey. Uh, obviously, we miss him dearly around these parts. But what was that? said to you, you know what, I'm going to put the money down and buy this one. Well, I do, uh, we do miss Bob Harvey. I mean, if, he, he's up, if he's up there, I'm sure he's put a nice bet on him today. Uh, I have to give the credit to uh, Hiddenbrook. Uh, Hiddenbrook uh, does some of the buying for us at the sales, at the yearling sales. Uh, they like this horse very much. I very seldom will spend 95000 <laughs> U.S. On, on a yearling, but uh, they really liked him, and uh, he's, been, he's just been a great horse to have all along. Now, Sid was joking with me when we were walking over the winter circle. He said, you know what? I didn't want to run this race. This was your call. What led you to say, you know what? Let's give two turns a shot. Well, just the way he ran the uh, seven eights. 
he ran the seven eights. He won it easy. Um, you know, he reminded me of Midnight Area. We like to take the lead <laughs> and not give it up. So we had to try. Where else are you going to go? <laughs> Absolutely. So what will his uh, now brief vacation look like? Will he go down the States or will you keep him here north of the border? Uh, that's a really good question. It's something I have to uh, talk to Sid about. Uh, but I have to say Sid and his whole team did a great job with this horse, and uh, we'll have to figure it out in the next few days. Okay, Lou, always great to see those silks in the winter circle. Congrats. Thank you. Okay, Thank you so you much. Okay, there you go. Lou Tucci, a job well done. Congratulations. The horse that's not that big, but it's got a big pump. It is Babo that is victorious in today's Coronation for Trudy. The Princess Elizabeth coming up next. And the pick three there, seven, two, eight.